in. Do you know what this is? Yeah. It's a birch bark basket. Do you like it? Yeah. It's made from the birch tree. Do you see all these lines on here? It's all sorts of lines. Do you know how those lines came on the birch bark? Yeah. Well, let me tell you a story about that. How the birch tree got all these markings. Okay. A long time ago, when Wasakajak roamed the world, he was wandering along, and you know the Wasakajak stories. Wasakajak is a character in the Creek culture, and he's a trickster, and his stories are continue and continue and continue, and they, they're always being told, one right after the other. And this one time, Wasakajak had just finished doing the shut-eye dance, but that's another story. And he was hungry, so he decided he wanted to cook all of his ducks. So he took his ducks and he wandered through the forest until he came to a clearing. It was just really nice, nice clearing, and there were willows, and there was a nice river running by. It was a beautiful spot. Perfect. This is a great place. I'll build a big bonfire and I'll cook my ducks. So he made a huge fire and he got some willow sticks and he took the willow sticks and he put them on his ducks and he put the ducks right around the fire so they roast really good. And they smelled so good. He decided, hmm, I'm going to eat the I'm going to end up eating my ducks before they're ready. So he looked over and he saw some birch trees. And that was the time the birch trees stood straight and tall like this. Just like the poplar trees and the spruce trees, nice and straight and tall. And he said, okay, birch, I want you to hold me between the trunks of your tree until I can't move. Squeeze me real hard. So the birch tree thought, well, this is with Sackajack. We have to do what he says. So they squished him and squished him and squished him real hard. But he still could wiggle around a little bit. So he said, oh, you got to squish me more. So he squished him and squished him and squished him and he couldn't budge at all. And he says, oh, that's perfect. And he was so warm and he was so contented, he fell asleep. But he told the birch, don't let me go. No matter what, don't let me go until there's. Me go. That's right, don't let me go until there's nothing but ashes there. Look what I got. Nothing but ashes. Oh, and there's a horse over there too. So, the birch tree held on to him and held on to him. Pretty soon, pretty soon, <laughs> the animals in the forest could smell it. Mm, a little fox came along, and he was hungry too. He could smell the beautiful ducks roasting. So he said, mmm, and he noticed with Sackajack sleep between the trunks of that birch tree. And he went and he grabbed a drumstick off one of the ducks and ran away and ate it. And he thought, hmm, the Sackajack didn't move. I'm going to go tell all my friends. So he went over and he got fox, more of his brother foxes. He got his cousins. He got the wolves. He got the coyotes, he even told the ravens and the magpies and the eagles and the hawks. Even the little weasels came. And pretty soon they had a huge feast around from all of those ducks. But all the noise woke with Sackjack up and he said, Get away from my ducks! But he couldn't move and the animals noticed it. He couldn't get away, so they just kept on eating. And the birch tree thought, I can't let him go. He said, don't let him go till there's nothing but ashes over here. So was, they the kept on eating. Weasel? And Masakajak, pretty soon the animals ate everything up and they went running back into the forest real quick. Even the little weasel, it looks like a little, like a little rat. Like a, like a little coyote. That's right. Just like a little one though. So, like a little duck. Like a little horse or a duck. That's right. So they went running back into the forest. And finally, the birch tree looked over and saw there's nothing but ashes left of that fire. Nothing but ashes. 
So, what do you think they did? They let the Sackajack go. But they were like this for so long. They were in this V for so long that that's the way they are to this day. They're in this V and they birch trees now grow in clumps like a V and you can always tell a birch tree by the V, okay? But the Sackajack ran over and there wasn't even a bone for him to chew on. He was so angry, he went over and he got some willows and he whipped those birch barks back and forth that's why to this day, birch trees have those markings all over them. And that's how you can tell the birch tree. Because it has all those markings from the Sackajack. And that is how you know where birch trees grow. They grow by the river. Where it's wet, by the willows. That's what kind of habitat they like. Yes. The end.